I'm excited to announce something that's going to address a lot of the requests I've been hearing ever since I joined Verkada, and that is the AC12 single door controller. And this is perfect in any sort of new build scenarios when running Ethernet cables might actually be much easier than the usual low voltage access control ones. So if cabling is an issue or very, very expensive, this will allow you to distribute your access control functionality throughout the building as opposed to having it into your comms rooms. Let me just unbox this and get to the main unit. Now, this is very, very similar to a sensor inside, slightly thicker. It has a mounting plate on the back and should withstand, if you screw it properly, a person hanging off it and trying to rip it off the wall. And similar to a camera or a sensor, it does get both its internet and power through the same port. As you might have noticed here, there is also a port marked out. And this is because if you supply this unit with PoE++, it will actually be able to power a downstream device. Best example might be something like a camera, because you might want something to look at that particular door and give you that context behind all the events. But in all fairness, it can be anything. It can be an access point, it can be a VoIP phone, it can actually be a device that does not require PoE uh, whatsoever. So at any given point, the out port can provide data. And if you supply this with PoE++, it will be able to provide PoE++ on top of that. For those of you familiar with our controllers, you'll see the usual terminal blocks. We have two for Wigan-based readers, two for the Verkada ones that are OSDP-based. And the reason for this is that although this is a single door controller, it will allow you to do in and out badging, which is essential if you want to do functions such as anti pass back you then have the regular normally open and normally closed terminal blocks for the lock this unit can actually supply the lock with power via the poe you give it two rex terminals plus one for dpi and here on the bottom you have the selector if you want to run the locks wet there is no fire relay interface on this so if you're actually looking to bring down the door purely from a hardware switch you need to install a power supply or a power controller and run your fire relay that way last but not least you also have uh, an auxiliary port and as we announced recently that will allow you to create a deterrence by having things such as lights or sounders that go off in case for example the door is held open or the door is forced open as with everything, I do recommend you get your hands on one of these and trial it. Perkada can uh, provide a free 30-day trials. And on top of that, if you want to join a longer webinar to get a better understanding of the platform itself, I will leave a link uh, below. Any other questions, do drop them in the comments and I'll come back to you as soon as I can.